What's up guys, I have a question for you. Um, how difficult can we actually make magic? Welcome guys to a very different video today. Ooh, wait, hold on, this is a little overexposed. Ooh, there we go, that's a little better. Uh, what's up guys? We are gonna be trying out a brand new challenge today. This is something very different, something we don't normally do. Today I was playing the challenge week video and I was really enjoying it. I love tasking you guys with some challenges, but I never really set crazy challenges for myself. A lot of times I just test X, have some fun with it and see where it lands. So I thought today I would try a different style video where I set myself some ridiculous challenge, try and build a deck around it, and then see how it does in the midst of three games. Now, as the video title probably gave away, I'm only using cards today with a CMC of one. That's right, only one CMC cards are available, absolutely nothing else. I did want to set a few ground rules, so let's run through those very quickly. First, and of course the most obvious, with only one CMC cards being available, that does take away any kind of X spells or anything that costs any other in the original CMC cost. Second, the deck has to be standard legal. I did think about going into historic, but I felt like there were too many options and it would have gotten a little bit out of hand, so I kinda wanted to stick it to standard. Third, and the final thing to keep in mind here is that flashback spells or alternative cost spells are still available as long as the original CMC on the top right corner of the card is still one. All right, with the rules out of the way, let's go ahead, let's take a look at the deck. And here that deck is. This is an Is It Delver deck, which just seemed like the likely culprit for a one mana deck. Now before we actually talk about this version, I do have to say we tried a blue-black version as well, thinking that, you know, the removal, things like Blood Chief's Thirst would be really helpful, uh, as well as things like Duress. I didn't end up sticking with that for a number of reasons. This just felt a little cleaner to me, but uh, it also didn't feel like it worked as well in actual practice. So let's talk through this deck. This is an interesting one. Obviously our creature package is here. We have got the Delver of Secrets. This is gonna capitalize and hopefully deal some massive damage throughout the game. Flipping it into a 3-2 is probably the best turn two thing we can do. It's very, very strong and can hopefully really put on the pressure for the opponent. Now, another pressure builder is Ascendant Spirit. This is a nice little mana sink. We need mana sinks in a one mana deck when we might not have anything to do for a number of turns. Uh, and so this is a one one for one. You can power it up uh, once, twice, and even three times to get a really powerful creature that draws us cards as well. Now, Symmetry Sage is also in here. This is gonna allow us to get aggressive even if the Delver can't flip or we can't uh, level up the Ascendant Spirit. This seemed like a pretty easy include. It also is a flyer, so it's gonna be able to block uh, in the air if need be. Moving on to the card draw package, we do obviously have a couple of things here. Consider is very, very important. This is not only gonna put some stuff into our graveyard as we need to, in particular things like Otherworldly Gaze, which we can flash back, uh, but this also draws us a card. Uh, it does allow us to look at the top card of our deck, which can help us flip the Delver as well. And Otherworldly Gaze does a very similar job. So obviously this is card selection. We don't get to draw a card off of this, but what this allows us to do is not only repeatedly play spells to trigger that Magecraft ability, but also fix the top of our deck for the Delver and maybe put more Otherworldly Gazes in the graveyard if need be, uh, or maybe even find a land. Now the last card here is Wizard Class. This is a really interesting one. The no maximum hand size, not super important, but this is a Mana Sink. And the important thing about this is that, again, we need mana sinks. So the goal here is that we can draw some cards and then whenever we draw a card, if we level it up to level three, we're able to then throw some 1-1 counters on some creatures we control and hopefully finish the game very quickly. Finally, we come to the interaction portion of our deck here. We do have two bounce spells. We've got Fading Hope, which we can use to protect our own stuff as well as Unsummon, which does a very similar thing. The trick is with Fading Hope, we actually get to scry one along the way. That could be really helpful. It might allow us to fix the top of our deck again to try and fix or flip that Delver, excuse me, uh, and hopefully get some more power on the field. 
Now, the Red Splash is here, and it is very, very strong. We do have Shock and Play with Fire, both really lucrative options of dealing two damage to anything, so they can help us finish off the game. And again, that Play with Fire, hitting that Scry is really good. We want to make sure that we can flip Delvers as needed or find the cards that we need, because we only get one mana spells. We need them to do the most work that we can possibly do. Finally, we do have Spike Field Hazard. This isn't necessarily a great option, but it does deal with a number of things just on the, the face of it. Off the ground, it's a very easy little removal spell that exiles things. And worst case scenario, it is a red land. So we can flip it out, make sure that we only basically have 18 lands here, but this gives us up to 22, which is very, very helpful. Now you'll notice in the lands, we did a couple of things. Uh, we do have snow lands here. That is of course for the Ascendant Spirit. That does make a lot of sense. We do have the pathway here just for a little bit of flexibility as well. We did not put man lands in, and that is something that I kind of wanted to add to the challenge. So tack that on to the rules at the very beginning of the video because I thought it would be a little bit of a cheaty way to win by just saying, well, here's my 7-7 seven, seven Hall of the Storm Giants. I win. That doesn't seem fun. So uh, I thought I would challenge myself a little bit further and keep man lands out of this build. So like I said, guys, we did start blue black. We ended in blue red with a nice little Delver deck here. I have tested it out. We're going to send it through three games. Hopefully we can get some wins. Leave a comment down below. How many wins do you think we're going to get with this deck? I think it could do pretty well. So let's see how it goes. Game one is here, guys. Let's see what we can do. This is a pretty keepable hand. We'll go with it. We've got the turn one Ascendant Spirit, which is, I think, pretty relevant. Let's drop that. Let's drop that. One important thing to note here, guys, we do need Snowlands to make this really go off. So we are at a slight disadvantage at this point, but, you know, we'll we'll make it work. I really wish we had red mana and we could just throw that out, but that is OK. I'm going to just do that. Uh, Yeah, I'll take a Snowland. Absolutely. Um, This gets a, a little bit of a damage attack in it's early nothing too crazy Ooh, very scary okay i mean i think we just kind of go for it uh one important thing to note about this deck we have so many instants that we really don't have to play too much on our own turn uh which is kind of nice makes it a little easier uh okay so we could just wait till the end of the turn and actually we can do it now yeah i'm gonna blow one of these up it keeps it from gaining life uh, this time around, which I feel like is probably worth it. Wow, they have another one. Holy crap. Um, I'm going to consider. I'm actually going to put that in the graveyard. Uh, we need a snow lane. I mean, that's kind of all there is to it. Uh, let's keep them slowed down. <laughs> kind of rude. We could have otherworldly gazed, I suppose. That might have been better, but that's fine. All right, let's do this. Uh, good news here. We kill this now. Um, we'll make this a 2-2. All right, 2-1. We can get in for a little extra damage. I'm cool with that. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. Now we have Otherworldly Gaze uh, that we can fix the top of our deck a little bit here and hopefully get that Symmetry Sage or, I mean, truthfully, just a Snowland. <laughs> if we get a Snowland, we're actually in pretty good shape here. Um, but we've nullified a good bit of what they're doing at this point. Uh, what? What? You got plays? curious to see how this goes maybe our opponent's just gonna time out okay opponents doing nothing uh well otherworldly gaze then on as well we could save it but because it again has flashback it's kind of okay if it if we don't uh i'm gonna put both of these in the graveyard and keep the uh the wizard class cool let's do it excellent uh yeah go ahead and draw a couple cards let's get this going perfect gonna attack for one See what the opponent wants to do. I love watching little Jace. How cute he is. <laughs> All right, opponent's still here. I like it. Uh, so that's good to know. Let's see what we can do then. Hmm. Uh, let's throw this. Let's do this. Uh, we'll give this two just because, and then we'll otherworldly gaze. Give this two. That was a bit of a mistake. We could have done that in a much better fashion, but that's fine. We'll throw both of these in the graveyard and we'll keep the unsummon. That's going to flip the Delver. It's also going to give us a way to bounce that once again uh, to keep damage moving forward. So that seems pretty easy to me. Okay, cool. There it is. Perfect. All right. Uh, yeah, so we do this. We do this. Do this. 
go ahead and level this up. And we attack in. Pretty straightforward turn. Something we need to do is activate this and get this going so we can start pumping up more of our stuff. I mean, I think we just do this. It's a 4-4. Four, four. So they could double block it, I guess. I think we don't attack this turn and we'll see what happens. I'm not positive on that, though. Uh, but I think if we attack in and we lose the Ascendant Spirit, we're in pretty rough shape. Whereas if we don't, we might have a chance. So let's see what we can do. We need one more snow land and we can actually activate this once more. Uh, alternatively, we could just wizard class. All of that is good. So we'll see what happens. Scary. Very scary. That's terrifying, but I mean, it is what it is. Ooh, yeah, we could have blocked that actually. So we're not going to block the 5-5. Five five. We're going to take it. Okay, uh, yeah, we just play this and we do this and we hope for the best. I was feeling really strong in the beginning of this game and then here we go. Yep. Hmm. All right. Uh, well, with that in mind, uh, we definitely have to block these. Seems like an easy block to block here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we take eleven. <laughs> yep. Down to four. Okay. And we're super dead. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Really no reason to do this, but we're gonna die anyway. All right. Game one is a loss. Here we are guys, game two. Let's see what we can make happen. This is a keep. It's a bad keep, but it's a keep. Play this, play that Symmetry Sage. This will at least block for a turn. Uh, we might be able to spike Field Hazard and kill that. Well, I guess we don't want to. We need to unsummon something here. We'll see what happens. That's interesting. Uh, not gonna block. Curious that they put the counter here though. I'd love to draw a red source. If we draw a red source, we Fading Hope this and then uh, can really get somewhere, but it looks like that's not gonna happen. So what do we do? about it one thing to note we do have to be pretty aggressive with this list uh, because obviously all of our spells are valued at one mana uh, and so the idea is if we win really fast they don't have time to get to their big stuff that we just can't deal with like this this is terrible <laughs> awesome okay uh, we about to bounce that cool uh, yep just gonna fading hope it uh, yeah, I'll keep the spike field hazard. That might be worth it. Let's throw that wizard class down and get an attack in. Spike field hazard could take out the escort or the aspirant, depending on how they play this. Uh, so I feel like that that's pretty worth it. Oh, very nice. Okay. I like that a lot. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna spike field hazard this. Again, just trying to clear the way a little bit here. I feel like that's probably the best option. And I guess we save for the otherworldly gaze just to see what we might need. That seems like the best option. There's the Augur of Autumn. One of my favorite cards, by the way. I love this card. I think it's very, very good. Ooh. Okay. Good thing it's only one mana. <laughs> uh, definite graveyard. Probably not graveyard, right? And we want the Delver? I don't know. That's a little odd, but we'll see. I'm going to take a risk. We're going to try it. We draw a land off of this. Ah, it's a tap land. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say, we can draw a land off of it. We're actually in okay shape because uh, we can drop the Delver, but it didn't really work super well. That's fine. They're probably gonna throw it on Thalia. Yeah, just makes the most sense. And here, free attack in for them. All right. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Okay, um, I think we Delver. I think we do this. And I think we pass. So here's the hope. Here's the fading hope. They put a counter on Thalia. They attack in with whatever they want to attack in with. We fading hope on the Thalia. Uh, and then theoretically, we might be able to block something in our favor. We'll see. Uh, I might be willing to sacrifice a Delver here. Okay, cool. <laughs> Super dead. Yep. Oh, very interesting. Okay, I was going to say that was... That would have been interesting. Uh, yeah. Bounce that Thalia. Give that the power two. Uh, and the idea is we'll probably block here with 
Uh, yeah, you know, I'll keep a shock. That seems pretty good. Like, we can get rid of something here, theoretically. Now, they can 100% sacrifice this and just free block something, but it looks like they're not going to. Uh, and we are going to flip Delver. I mean, it's not great, but it's a thing. I'm going to try it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it worked. Okay. This doesn't have reach. That's not super helpful, but I mean, you know, it's something. <laughs> Guess I can get. Oh, man. Might as well go ahead and do this, I think. It's not really going to amount to a ton, but oh my goodness. So good. Literally have to block. Uh, they should have also attacked with this. There was no reason not to, really. But that's cool. We're gonna give it lifelink? Sure. So they gain 9, they're back up to 20. <laughs> Alright. Here's to hoping, everybody. Guys, we're dead. We burned the Thalia, and uh, and now we're super dead. Oh, come on, now you're just rubbing it in. It looks like all of our hopes are on game three. All right, guys, here we are. This is game three. We have to do it this time. This is our last chance. Let's see if we can get a win. Strong turn one play. We go ahead, drop that Ascendant Spirit. We've also got the backup with the Snow Cover Mountain. Uh, so I'm kind of liking the chances here. Green's a little scary. This might be a big scary. Yeah, it is going to be a big and scary deck. All right, uh, attack. Easy attack. And pass. Ooh, terrifying. Okay, don't like that. We could definitely just unsummon that though. That slows them down a good bit. We'll just see what happens, see what we draw. I think we go blue. As much as I'd really like to double up on these spells, I just, I don't, I don't feel super strongly like that's the right play. All right. See what happens. It's gonna come down on Nightbound if we, or if they uh, just play it out here. Oh, that's terrifying. Um, okay, cool. All right, let's see what happens. That's absolutely scary. Oh, that's really scary. Okay, um, <laughs> let's bounce it. Yeah. <laughs> let's consider. Yeah, definitely put that in the graveyard. We can flash that back then. And we drew a snow-covered mountain. That's very good. Okay, let's go ahead and drop that down. Uh, the question is, do we want to level up the Ascendant Spirit? And the other trick here is we kind of want to... Oh, I really like all of these cards. I'm going to submit one. We'll do this. I think that that's okay. Like, we can just play with fire, but that's not that good. I'm going to Otherworldly Gaze. So what we're trying to do is flip some stuff here. Yeah, I'm going to leave that on the bottom. Or uh, put that in the graveyard, excuse me. All right, let's do that. Now that flips it to Daybound, so that just means any of this stuff isn't going to come in on the Nightbound side, which is very, very important for us. Oh, good. Perfect. Great. All right. Uh, good news is we kill it. With the Spike Field Hazard, no less, which is just efficient. So I'm super into that. We did it. Um, now, the trick is, I think it's just this and then... draw two cards. I think that's the safe bet. We are going to take a hit here, but we get a little bit, um, which I think is important. Another spike field hazard could be useful. Could be very useful. Um, depending. I mean, on a lot. <laughs> okay, that's scary. Cool. Um, nope, can't do anything about it. Absolutely terrifying. Um, oh, I really wish we could do something. All right. We're gonna have to shock some stuff. We literally don't have much of a choice there. Let's do this now, I guess. Again, it really doesn't matter. Oh, I'm putting all of those in the graveyard. And then we attack in. All right. Yeah. We're doing great. What? So dead. Uh. Yes, put it in the graveyard. I don't want that. That would have been useful. That would have been very useful. <laughs> right. What do we do? 
I don't know, man. We're gonna die. Uh, all right, let's throw this out there. We can't attack. We shouldn't have activated Wizard Glass, but I just don't think it's really gonna matter. Cool. No! <laughs> we suck. Uh. All right, guys. Well, we were unsuccessful in our one mana challenge. Unfortunately, we did not get any wins, but we had a lot of fun going along the way. I thought this is a really interesting challenge, and I think it's something I'm probably gonna revisit at some point down the line because I love doing these. Also, guys, just a quick thing. If you've got a challenge idea, leave it down below. I'd like to actually explore this a little bit further, have some fun with it, maybe take it in its own content direction, and not just make this a one-off. I love the idea of playing around with different challenges, different parameters, things like that, deck building things that I don't normally have to build around and just see what we can do. Maybe even get some wins out of it and have some fun along the way. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you aren't already though, please make sure you subscribe. It really would mean a lot to us. We are a very small channel and so any and all interaction really does help. If you do leave a like on the video as well, that would really mean a lot. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to do so. If you didn't, it's okay too. You can leave a thumbs down, whatever you need to do. Regardless guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching.